X Defiant is primed to launch and this new first person shooter is a really good opportunity here for Ubisoft to break into the FPS genre and do it with some finesse. The one simple change of removing skill based matchmaking could potentially be huge for the popularity and player retention in X Defiant. That being said, I still have my questions and my concerns for what exactly they are defining as the removal of skill-based matchmaking. And that is exactly what I want to go over in this video. Maybe you can help me answer these questions down in the comments, but I did wanna start this video off with a disclaimer that I have not played any of the X Defiant playtests, And honestly, I have not even looked too deep into what the nuances of this game are. I do this fairly consistently with the games that I'm the most interested in because I want the first experience that I have streaming the game to be as raw as possible. We go live over at Kick, by the way, come check it out. On top of that though, this is at the end of the day, a team-based first-person shooter game, and there is not much more that I need to know other than that. My interest was piqued though when I heard the game will not have skill-based matchmaking, but I'm wondering what exactly they mean by that. If we look at Call of Duty, for example, not only do they have skill-based matchmaking, but SBMM is just part and parcel of the whole retention-based matchmaking system that they have in place. This is the type of system that is designed to feed you just enough dopamine to keep you playing while still chokeholding your gameplay performance to keep you losing. You know, one of those, oh, first game of the day, give them an easier lobby than 10 lobbies of diamond full squad sweats followed by another uh, winnable lobby. We'll throw them a bone every now and then just to hopefully keep them playing. And we are not even diving in or talking about how Call of Duty affects accuracy, hit detection, and all of that that tie into this disgusting system because I'm just really trying to use COD as an example of what I'm worried about with X Defiant. Does X Defiant's wording of no SBMM truly mean no SBMM whatsoever? I do personally believe that they mean that there will be no skill-based matchmaking whatsoever, but I do think that it's worth bringing up. But SBMM is not even the reason that I wanted to talk about this today because I can deal with skill-based matchmaking all day no problem, it's a terrible system, but you know, it is what it is. Putting up, put, put me up against other skilled players, that's fine. It's actually skill-based team making that I wanted to address. Personally, I like to solo queue, and it's not often that I have an entire squad of friends that are open and available to be playing at the exact same time. So I end up living in the solo queue, and skill-based team making is truly the worst experience ever. Skill-based matchmaking is absolutely nothing compared to skill-based team making. If you are even remotely good at a game that has this system, you will be purposefully given players who are much worse than you on your team with the intent of balancing your skill with their lack of skill. And this absolutely sucks. Nothing is worse than playing with two thumb Timmies on your team, while at the same time you are put into a match against a mic'd up squad running laps around your team. Have you ever jumped into COD where you were at 20 plus kills while your entire team was under eight kills total and had a negative KD? This right here, that is skill-based team making and it is disgusting it is the absolute worst in my opinion skill-based matchmaking is not even on par with this d disgusting system i hate skill-based team making but now that i have that out of my system i am both incredibly excited that skill-based team making might not be an x defiant or will not be an x defiant as we're meant to assume but i'm also terrified that they're gonna end up sneaking something like this in there it is ubisoft that we are talking about after all their track record is uh not the greatest to say the least and my question to you i guess would be have they confirmed the extent of what they mean by no skill-based matchmaking hopefully it's none whatsoever. Because I truly believe that this system that they put in place, this player retention based AI system of matchmaking is killing true 
player retention. I have heard recently about the fact that skill-based matchmaking will be in the welcome playlist in X Defiant. That's not what I wanted to talk about today, though that does also worry me because it does show you that they have some sort of system that they could implement. Let me know what you guys think about all of this down in the comments though. X Defiant is set to launch sometime before March 31st. Hit like if you enjoyed this video. I'm out.